acronyms and initializations. Now, we use the term acronyms to describe everything, the, the abbreviations. But there's a difference between an acronym and an abbreviation. And they're, they're, bre they're shortcuts. Both of them are shortcuts. But the acronym is the first letter of each word, but you pronounce it as a word. And Ray, you're shaking your head. You know this, right? So it's, it's, it's a PIN number. It's not a PIN number. And it's FITCI. It's not F-I-T-C-I. So if it's easy to say as a word, we turn it into an acronym, usually. If it's not, it becomes an initialization. So the MD, the PhD, the CEO, the VP, IT, think of all the initializations. We use them even more than the acronyms when we're talking. And so here's a rule for that. You stress the last letter of an initialization. So here's the problem. Let me give you an example. Uh, I, worked, I worked with a doctor. Now, I don't know how many of you know medical terms, but she came to me and she said, when, she was, when I taught her this rule, she goes, oh my goodness, now I know why they didn't understand me. She said, I worked in a New York hospital first, and there are so many languages there and so many accents, they always understood me. And then she moved out west, and she had a residency there. And she was talking about a patient who had a P. And they didn't understand her. And they went and they got the urinal for the patient. And what she was saying is the patient had a PE, which is a pulmonary embolism. So why would they get the, uh, the urinal for somebody who has a PE? And she didn't realize she wasn't stressing it correctly. And that's a problem in communication. And so this is so easy. All you have to do is stress the last letter. So it's the MVA. And we may naturally do it, but we don't realize it. You got an MBA, not an MBA. Because hmm. if I say I got an MBA, to me it sounds like a noun, and I can't figure out what the noun is. I don't understand it.